hello all and welcome to my youtube channel so today in this particular video we're going to be seeing how we can extract word embeddings from the given sentence and even how we can extract the sentence em embeddings for the given sentences so this all things we're going to be doing with the help of an example of bird but uh, you can also extend it to uh, gpt2 or excelnet or any other kind of uh, pseudobot models and you can extract the embeddings from it so today i am going it uh, with the bird model you can experiment it with using the excelnet or gpt2 or any other state of art model which you like to experiment or experiment on it so let us start the video and let's start the libraries so let's install this pip install a uh, simple transformer library so i'm going to be using this simple transform library for the generation of or for all kind of nlp tasks so let us solve it and let's see how we can extract the water mix from the sentence so once the solution of this library is done we have to restart the runtime so we'll click on the restart runtime and then we'll proceed for the word embedding generation okay so everything has been installed and now we are ready to use uh, the simple transform library for the extraction of word embeddings so from simple transform library we're going to be using language representation model so it is present in this uh, language representation class uh, and we are going to importing a representation model uh, function from this language representation class and we're going to be using it so uh, let us take a few sentence and uh, let us pass this sentences inside this representation model so uh, first we need to take the sentence so right now i am taking a sentence uh, machine learning and deep learning are part of ai and a second sentence as data science will excel in future so right now i have taken only two sentences you can pass on n number of sentences or list of sentences inside this and then we're going to be initiating a representation model function and inside that we're going to be specifying the type of model we are going to use and the name and the model name so i am going to be using a bird model and the model name will be bird base uncase and i am going to be using the cuda so i have set it to true so this is a setup for representation model uh, function and inside this you have to mention the name of the model and what kind of model you are going to be using so uh, you can even use gpt2 or excelnet over here and pass into this so this is how you set up the representation model and you save this all representations inside this model variable and from this model we're going to be using dot encode underscore sentence method and pass the sentences inside this and by using this combined strategy none so, so as you want to generate word embeddings so we are not going to passing any combined strategy and just the sentences we're going to be passing so these are the sentences we are going to pass inside this uh, method encode in a sentence and let the model do whatever the things it has uh, has to uh, uh, print out okay so you have seen that it has stored all the models so uh, the models which are generally mentioned as bird case and case so it has used and downloaded the bird base and case model and then it has used that trained operated model and pass those sentence inside that model and we got the word embedding generated so let's print out the shape of this word embeddings which, uh, which the model has generated so let's run this cell so as you can see uh, we have two sentences so these are two sentences and for each sentence we had 11 uh, word so if you count on this sentence it has nine words and it has only six words so what it has done is it has taken this sentence the maximum length of sentence as an uh, benchmark and the remaining two words that is 10th and 11 word are the uh, tokens which are generally represented by the bird so if you have bird model so generally the tokens are clss or separation tokens so that's how the total will be 11 and similarly this is this sentence has uh, six words inside it so it has taken the paddings of it so it has matched the length of this uh, first sentence and it has matched to the 11 words so this is how it has been uh, doing the embeddings and that's how the shape of this is looking like 
so you have two sentences now the max length is of 11 that has been set and padded and then each word inside this sentence is represented with the 768 embeddings so machine is represented with 768 embeddings similarly learning is represented with the 768 embeddings and so on so this is how the rep representation of the word embeddings is taken uh, place using the BERT model so now we're going to be seeing how we can uh, do the same thing and we can get the generation of this whole sentence as an embedding so right now we had embeddings for each and every word inside the sentence but now we want to generate the sentence embeddings that means the uh, embeddings which represent this whole sentence so let's see how this can be done so for this i am taking the same example the same sentences and the same code uh, which we have used above and just the minor change we are going to be doing is we just going to be changing the combined strategy so here in this combined strategy you have to mention the mean and it will take the mean of all those embeddings and it will generate the sentence embedding so let's run this code and let's see what the shape would be okay so the sentence vectors are generated for the, those two sentences so let us see the shape of those, uh, those sentence vectors so as you can see uh, we have two sentences and those two sentences are represented by 768 hidden embeddings so let us see how the sentence uh, vectors look like so this is the representation of all those two sentences so we had this sentence sentence number one and it is represented in this format and similarly this sentence two represented in this format so this is how we can use BERT model, the pretty and BERT model and use its embeddings in our own data set and we can train a huge model by using this uh, embedding. So we always have a problem uh, when we come up with the uh, words in our data set. So we can use these kind of embeddings and just give a list or a, or a sentence in, inside this model and get the embedding generated and then we can use the preprocessing to run a model on this sentence and then that's how we can do the classification or regression task so this is all about this video and hope you enjoyed it please subscribe to the channel thank you